Hello and welcome back to Redline Revs. If you own a car, you'll probably need an ODB port scanner. And today on Redline Revs, we're reviewing this VGate VS450 VW Audi fault code scanner. Um, now it says it's for VW and Audi, but it does in fact work on any car with an ODB port. So let's open up the box. Hmm, carry case. Unzip that for you. Let's have a look at what's inside. Hmm, nicely presented. So here is the actual uh, VS450 fault code scanner itself. Um, just to give you an idea of the build quality, it's light, bigger than your mobile phone. Um, the materials to touch don't feel pleasant, but it feels sturdy and well built. Um, it feels quite solidly put together for something that's so light. You've got four rubber buttons here on the front face, uh, up and down, and yes and no, and you've got a connector at the top to plug it into the ODB port. Inside the carrier case, you also have an instruction manual, and uh, there's a little pocket which has the uh, cable to connect the scanner to the ODB to port in the car. So, that's what you get in the box. Now we're going to test this on a few different cars and see how it works. Okay YouTube, I'm just in a Mark 1 say at Leon and this is the first car that I'm going to check this uh, VS450 code scanner on. Let me just quickly show you something before I do do that. If I turn the ignition on, you can see I've got no lights on my dash. Well, the handbrake's on, but that's because the handbrake's up. Uh, but I've got no check engine light um, on the dash. I'm just going to turn that off, just put it back onto half ignition. Let's plug in the fault code reader. Um, I've uh, plugged the cable into the top of the fault code reader and I'm just going to plug this into the ODB port now. And as soon as I've done that, it's uh, the screen's fired up. Uh, comes to a VW Audi logo. Um, just going to press Y. Okay, so I've got a series of options here. VW Audi, ODB2, EODB for non-VW group vehicles, oil service, and system setup. Uh, I'm going to go into VW Audi because I'm in a SEAT, and I'm going to select the engine system to check faults on and see what it comes back with. Read codes. Okay, so I've got catalytic uh, catalyst system uh, efficiency below threshold. That's a code that I know about. It sometimes throws a light on my dash, um, and it hasn't this time, uh, but it's stored in the uh, deeper memory of the ECU, and this is able to scan. This device is able to scan that, whereas the device I was previously using didn't. It only scanned uh, codes that were emitting a light at the time. Um, just pressing down, and we've got another code here, P1279 at the bottom there. Uh, that's pressure drop between turbo and throttle valve. Uh, check diverter valve. That could be because of my forge recirculating diverter valve. They sometimes throw that code. And I've got fuel trim bank one. Add system two rich, uh, P1137. Um, so that's really useful to know. Anything else? Uh, no, it just goes circles back to the first code, which is a P420. Uh, so that's all really useful to know. Um, I am not going to be erasing these codes yet um, because I, I, I want to just troubleshoot a couple of them. Um, ECU information. See what that pulls back. Uh, VAG number, component, coding, WSC, um, readiness test, um, I'm not quite sure what that is, let's have a look. Uh, oh, so that's basically just checking your various different uh, sensors, um, it could be useful to look at that, uh, um, and, um, everything's fine for me except for uh, the catalytic converter. Now, um, airbags, I have got the airbag off, 
is always on. Um, so let's have a look at airbags and see if I can clear that. That's been on since um, since I've had the car. Uh, read read codes. See if there's any airbag codes that come up. No codes. Okay. So it doesn't pick up the airbag off, but I think there's a way of of doing that, uh, of turning that back on. Um, So there's actually a lot of stuff here that you can um, scan and, and look into. Back to engine. Uh, just quickly check the options in the system setup. Uh, you've got contrast, display test, a keyboard test, and your units of measure you can cycle between English and metric. I'm going to leave it on English just because I'm in London. Okay, so um, yeah, like I said, I've had other fault code readers that haven't um, picked up those um, the second and third code that we saw there, uh, and also my other fault code reader didn't pick up that um, P420 catalytic converter uh, insufficient flow code unless it was showing up on the dash, which it didn't always do, and, and as I showed you earlier, it wasn't on this occasion. So actually, I'm quite impressed with this device. I have heard that it doesn't work on certain cars. Some people with 2009 um, VAGs have, have complained that sometimes it's not working for them, um, but I'll try it in a, few, a couple of different cars and, and uh, see how it does. Okay, we're now in a Skoda Octavia 2006. That's the Mark II pre-facelift. VRS uh, 2 litre TFSI. Uh, just plugging in the fault code reader. Um, and uh, do you have any da uh, lights on the dash at the moment on this one? Um, I don't have any at the minute, but there was one which I cleared from before. Okay. Which was um, the thermostat code. All right, fine. Uh, let's have a look at this. If you just press Y on that machine, on that device, let's get the screen on, on here. Um, and then go to uh, VW Audi, so select Y on the top. Uh, and then go into engine. Um, and then uh, read codes. Okay, just reading the codes. Uh, what's that? Seatbelt warning light, K19. Um, sporadic 002 lower limit exceeded. Um, okay, uh, let's go down and see if there's any more. Uh, what's this one say? Uh, switch for tensioning struts stowed. Um, let's have a look at the next one. Uh, DTC definition is not found. Please refer to vehicle service manual. Interesting. Uh, see if you can cycle through. How did that happen? Oh, uh, he's kicking the button. Electric drive motor. Uh, any others? Uh, anything more? No, we've gone back to, to the. Okay, now um, these are some codes that I mean, we've recently got this car, and which these is, are some codes that we've not dealt busted. with before. Um, so we're not going to clear them at the moment. We're going to troubleshoot them, uh, do some research, find out uh, you know what it could be related to, and. Uh... Okay, so we've got five codes that are coming up on this vehicle. Uh, two of them uh, we weren't able to get the uh, description for. Um, it's not coming up on this device. Yeah, um, but I mean, it's given us the, the, the code number, so we can just put that into Google and find out what it is. We're going to clear these codes now just to see if the erase codes option works here. So let's go for that. It's yes on erase codes, and yes again, it asks you to confirm. It's now erasing the codes. Erase done. Let's do another uh, scan and see if the codes remain. Sorry, I've got a baby in my arm, so excuse the shaky cam. Uh, no codes, it's saying now. Okay, so there you go. Uh, the V gate. Uh, scan tool v VS450. It does work. It reads deep codes. The only issue we found so far is that there's two codes that have come up on this car Which it doesn't have a description for um, But it has given us the code number so we can uh, have the fault code number so we can do some research to find out what that is Clears codes fine great device for 23 pounds um, And I'd, I'd recommend it Now this car actually has a check engine light on. This is a Mark II Sayat Leon. Um, this is a 1.6 petrol, 2006. Okay, engine's on. You can see the check engine light is on there. Um, so let's just plug this in and uh, 
and have a look. So in this car, um, there's actually a uh, panel that you have to take off, which I've just removed, that the ODB port sits behind. That's in there now. Let's get our half ignition and uh, see what cause this throws up. Okay, press Y for menu. I'm going to select VW Addy again and select engine. Read the codes. Okay, so I've got catalytic um, converter insufficient flow P0420. On this car, actually, I've got uh, full service history. The uh, catalytic converter was changed not too long ago. Um, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clear this. Press N to go back and erase the code. Let's select yes. Erase done. And uh, now let's fire up the engine and the code is gone. So uh, that's really handy actually because the other uh, ODB port reader that I was using didn't have a, uh, well it wasn't actually able to pick up the code on this, the engine light was on, we had it plugged in, it just wasn't picking up the code, uh, but this thing, um, well you've seen it working twice now for me very well, so I'm going to say that's £24 well spent. Let's just do the readiness test on this as well. Um, it has failed on the EGR um, and it's failed on the O2 sensors, it's failed on the EVAP sensors uh, system uh, and on the catalytic converter uh, or the catalyst. Um, but catalytic converter is actually passed. So, interesting. Let's just quickly go into read codes again now that we've uh, cleared them and see if it comes up. No code stored in the module. Any key to continue. I'm going to say that was £24, very well spent. Uh, yeah, so we've tested this um, VS450 now on 3W Group cars. Uh, it's worked on every single one. It reads deep uh, codes that are scanned in, in the module. Sorry about the shaky camera. I've, I've actually got little man with me here at the moment. Uh, and he's setting off the, uh, the he's setting off the um, radio and everything. Okay, so uh, yeah, so there you have it. I um, hope you found that useful. Um, we think it's a good device, and I very much recommend it. Twenty-five quid, twenty-four pound with um, delivery is not bad at all. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this useful. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe.